It's a great practice to be uh, not only on schedule but ahead of schedule. Not to look at best practices but next practices. That is how India will become competitive. To begin with, uh, Suriji, I must say this is uh, an opportunity for me to pay my great, uh, I mean, pay a tribute to you. I mean, as we know, Suriji is a man of not only great ideas, but also great ideals. Uh, a true leader leading by uh, example, and I always found him ahead of his time. Actually, you will catch your breath while uh, he's running forward. We just witnessed uh, the spectacular third uh, Commonwealth uh, Youth Games. You not only made Pune proud, Maharashtra proud, but India proud. Actually, it was a spectacular event. And you can quite clearly see, whereas we talk about Pune as an educational capital, cultural capital, he's making it even the sports capital of, uh, of uh, uh, India. And I've uh, witnessed his uh, great initiatives uh, uh, right from this uh, great Pune festival revolving around culture, dance, music, art, the International Film Festival, the high-tech uh, Pune events uh, that started, so many other uh, uh, initiatives. So oh, really, thank you for being what you are and what you have done for uh, all of us. I am supposed to be speaking, the topic that has been given to me is uh, Vision 2020 for uh, Pune. And I'm going to take you through my own personal lens and see the way I have seen Pune develop uh, over a period of time and where do I see uh, Pune going, what sort of vision we should be setting for ourselves as a personal impression and personal aspiration, you might uh, want to say. And I'm going to be quite anecdotal because you're going to see Pune through my own lens. I remember.